Okay, so we're here in Arlington, Texas today. And the point of this video is to show the world how contaminated Arlington tap water is. So we have a bunch of tools here. We have a TDS meter, which stands for total dissolved solid, which I'll get into later. And we have an electroagulator, which will also be used later in the video. But first, some premise. So on the left, we have some drinking water that we got from Kroger, I think a couple days ago. Um, pure sanitary, no contaminants. Uh, it'll be going into the left cup. On the right cup, we have, we're gonna be putting tap water um, into it. And as you can see, straight from the tap, So the first part of this video is going to be showing the um, total dissolved solid of the um, of the water. So essentially what we have here is a TDS meter and what this stands for is total dissolved solid. So you stick the meter in the water and it will tell you the total dissolved solid in the water per parts per million. So what that means is that for Normal drinking water, you should expect it to be um, between 200 and 400 parts per million. And even then, that's kind of pushing it because that's marginally acceptable. You really ideally want it to be much less than that. Um, and for distilled water like we have here, you want it to be from 0 to 50. So the glass on the right will serve as a sort of control. So you can see that the device is in fact working. So what we're going we're gonna to do is we're going to turn it on right here. As you can see, the reading is zero parts per million. So we're gonna put that into the water here and we're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. Not even a couple minutes, a couple seconds to see what it reads. And as you can see already, it's only reading six parts per million, which is really good um, for the water. And that only means that there are only six parts of harmful contaminants dissolved in the water for every million particles of water. And according to the chart on the back, that is within the range of um, perfectly acceptable drinking water. Um, you shouldn't be concerned about this water. So we're going to pull it out here. We're going to wipe it off. And we're going to put it onto the, um, the glass on the right. As you can see, the reading is zero parts per million. And we're going to put it in, let it sit for a couple seconds. And as you can see, the reading already reads 691 parts per million which is outstandingly high um, and just this should serve as enough proof that the uh, tap water is contaminated and is extremely harmful to human health. Um, furthermore, this is, uh, this is proved by the chart on the back which states that marginally acceptable tap water is between 200 to 400 parts per million. As you can see here, this isn't even marginally acceptable tap water. This is unacceptable water. It's 689 parts per million, which in essence means that there are 689 particles of harmful, uh, harmful particles that are dissolved in the water for every million particles of water. And ideally, no one should be drinking this water because it is not suitable to be, um, is not suitable for drinking because the, it's too contaminated. So now that that part of the experiment is over, just to further solidify our point, we're going to use an electroagulator to show the uh, differences in the water. Now essentially what this does is it uses electricity and different waveforms to separate harmful dissolvents in the water um, so you can see how contaminated the water really is. And it uses electricity to break the bonds between uh, the water and the harmful metals that are in the water um, so that you can see what really is dissolved in the water. On the left you have the distilled drinking water that was bought from Kroger and on the right you have the tap water and already you can see that the water on the right which is from the tap is already clouding up and is green and there are nasty, there's nasty stuff in the water, nasty metals um, as indicated by the green colors, or by the green color, uh, metals, there could be metals like uh, magnesium, mercury, copper, um, dissolved into this water, which are not good for human health at all. 
Um, excess levels of magnesium lead to um, MS and all sorts of other nasty illnesses down the line. And you can already see the differences in the water. The water on the right looks disgusting and the water on the left is absolutely pure, which it should be. Now this water is not water that you want to be drinking. Um, this is harmful water and if you drink enough of it, it'll eventually lead to um, many health problems down the line. Um, as you can see, the harmful substances are already gathering around the top while the water is settling at the bottom. And this just goes to show and this just goes to show how contaminated the tap water in Arlington is. Now we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna show you how the um, what the surface materials on the right look like. As you can see, these are more solid than they are liquid. Um, these are imagine drinking a glass of water. This is what's really going into your body compared to this pure glass right here. Um, this really is a failure on the um, Department of uh, Engineering and Civil Engineering at the Correlating University, UT Arlington. And furthermore, a failure on the part of the town to keep the water clean and healthy for uh, human consumption. Um, so uh, this video was just to show how contaminated the drinking water in Arlington is and how the um, how this can lead to many further future uh, few many further health problems in the future